In today's installment of the Deluxe Reading Dream Build, blinds will be constructed. Constructing a window for the Deluxe Reading Dream laundry bathroom would be a breeze, but constructing blinds for it would be something else entirely. Before using good materials, I made a rudimentary prototype out of cardboard to see how the blinds would turn out. It wasn't so much about aesthetics as it was about creating the blinds. Off camera, I made an opening for a window for the bathroom and this included inserting some plexiglass. And then to clean up my work, I added dollhouse bandages on the back. And what I thought I would do with this window was to make it a two-sided window. So I'm going to take a piece of mat board that I have here and I'm going to do that to divide the window and then I'm going to put another piece of mat board on the back and then on the perimeter of the window more mat board will be used. Pearl white acrylic paint was used on the border. Off camera, half inch by five and one eighth inch slats were made out of mat board. The paint I'm using is Treasure Gold by Folk Art. The square pieces will be used to make two cradles. Here's a look at the internal mechanism of the blinds, the head rod, the drums, and the cradles. I wanted the blinds to be as realistic as possible, including the internal mechanisms. So beginning with the head rod, I constructed a simple half inch by five and a half inch rectangle box, putting it together with wood glue. To construct the blinds, I used a glover's needle and cotton cording. Though the needle is used for leathers and furs, I used it because the eye was large, allowing the cording to pass through. Two holes were punched into the slats on both ends. On to assembling the blinds.
double knots are tied for each hole on the bottom slat. A large paper clip is used for the pinion rod and one straw cut into two half inch pieces for the drums will be used between the two cradles. Two holes were punched on each side of the drums, then cording threaded through. The pinion rod is then threaded through the drums, then the cradles constructed. The cording is double knotted, then glued into place. Tacky glue is applied to the cradles, then they're slid into the head rod. A tilt wand made with a large paper clip and a lollipop stick is added to the blinds. A hole is then made in the head rod for the wand. Once the paper clip is stuck into the hole, it's pressed down on top. Champagne color flatbacks are used for the bottom rail caps.
For added realism, turtle charms were attached to cording for a full cord tassel completing the blinds aesthetics. I'd like to take this time to welcome all new subscribers to the channel. It means so much that you enjoy the content. Until we meet again, thank you so very much for watching.